Hello there fellow humans and there is a new event in World of Tanks Blitz where you can get the Skoda T56 completely for free. So let's find out how that works and if it's worth it. Now the event is quite straightforward. It goes from September 3rd to September 24th and all you have to do is collect these three types of coins for heavy tank, light and medium tank and tank destroyer. And if you play at tier 8 to tier 10 you can get five of these per win. You can exchange these coins for a couple of different things. You could also gamble for these coins if you want to, but don't do that. You could exchange the coin, for example, for this gambling container right here, which includes a vehicle of the sort. However, obviously, the lower vehicles of tier 5s have a higher drop chance than the upper tiers. See, 1.13 for the uppers and 2.26 for the tier 5s. So this is a cheat container, basically, so I don't recommend it. And uh, then you have the Skoda T56, which is the only vehicle that's actually worth it really hit. It needs 200 of each. Again, if you get 5 per win, that means that you need 40 wins per type of tank to get this vehicle. The armor of the vehicle is quite straightforward. Low plates, a weak spot, like it is on every other vehicle in the entire game, except maybe the 268 version 4. Sides are quite good, so side scraping is possible. This vehicle, look at that angle right there. You also don't have a pike nose, which means you don't have a side plate sticking out that gets worse as you turn the vehicle to the side. However, you have this very tiny area right here that is really impossible to hit unless you have a very accurate gun. So side scraping in this vehicle is possible, just don't peek out too far. And then the turret, you have 8 degrees of gun depression, which means you can essentially just hide that cupola, even though it sticks out tiny little bits. So make sure to keep the tank wiggling back and forth, left and right, to avoid a very accurate enemy actually aiming for that cupola when you're held down. If you're on a flat ground, it's pretty much impossible to hide the cupola. So just, again, wiggle the vehicle back and forth to not get shot up there. The dome at the top is very thin, but it basically can't be penned by anybody unless they have a very big gun. So... Shoot at the cupola, and the turret sides here are very thick. You have 220 millimeters here, so you can go through there, theoretically. But again, go for the cupola if you can. And then the front plate is very thick, so unless you're a ISU 152 with premium ammo, don't even try. So, good armor profile on this tank. So what is this tank all about, and is it worth all the grind? Well... Yes, yes, it's worth it. 1,900 DPM, 450 alpha damage, 210 standard penetration could be better, but it does have heat rounds as premium ammunition, which means calibrated is in order, and you have very good penetration. Anyway, then you have 0.39 accuracy, which means you go for refined gun in the equipment as well, and the aim time's just about fine enough. 8 degrees of gun depression is excellent, and then the mobility is, well, it's a slow heavy tank, so that's what you're going to get right here. However, if you get this vehicle, and you get the STV-81, you already have the STV-81 from the event back then, that is really everything you need in terms of premium tank if you are a free-to-play player. Obviously, there is going to be, hopefully, more free premium tank events in the future, but a vehicle like this, if you can get it for free, there isn't really much need to get a different heavy tank, especially because most of the Soviet-style heavy tanks play the exact same in most regards. So once you got this one, you don't need any of the other ones. You need a heavy, you need a medium tank, maybe a couple more for variety, but that's gonna be it. If you're free to play, this is a excellent offer, and I highly recommend, obviously, if you have the time, because remember, Blitz isn't your life. Blitz is distraction from life. So if you can do it, if you can grind this thing, I highly recommend doing it, because it is one of the upper levels of tier rate heavy premium tank. And if you can get it for free, you don't need to waste your money spending that on other vehicles. Or you don't need to spend it on uh, season stock tanks, possibly. So basically, how is this vehicle played? Slow and methodical, right? Because with this kind of mobility, you can't just rush into a position and hope for the best. Because if you're in a bad spot, you will not be able to get out of there whatsoever. So if you play this vehicle, slow, methodical, find out where the enemies are. Don't just rush in, because... In any vehicle in the entire game, you do not want to fight multiple tanks at the same time, unless you absolutely have to. Now, the armor on this vehicle, as you can see in a hull down position, is quite excellent. The cupola, however, can still be penned. Even with terrible accuracy like this vehicle, you can pen that cupola. So keep the vehicle wiggling, keep it moving back and forth, left and right, whenever you're not aiming to throw off 
the enemy's aim because remember the majority of the players have no idea what they're doing so if you just have a little bit of a clue what you're doing you already have a massive advantage just like the advantage i have over the yaw right here now i know my three teammates are busy with the t56 which means i'm not going to get the majority of the damage there so i'm going to focus on the yaw nobody else is shooting at him i know i have an advantage over him which means i can just sit here um, and just get him and get some extra free damage right here whereas the t6 is gonna get worked by the rest of the team right there the armor again on this thing is very good the yo could have waited and aimed for the cupola but he's gonna go down nonetheless anyway so it's a very nice first battle of this vehicle well that was actually the third i played this is the second battle i played and the problem with this one is it's almost too easy like it was almost too easy right there wasn't really any challenge from anybody but i'm just spoiling it right now so the team's going to the cap side on mines. Don't really want to go there. Terrible side. If anyone's on the hill, you're going to get outplayed. You don't want to do that. Now, I'm going to show that as well now here. What I see here is most of the enemy team are on the cap side as well. I know there's two tank destroyers in the back. However, if I take this approach around the outside here, then it's going to be very difficult for them to shoot me. Here, I pause because I have more alpha damage than the SMV and I'm full HP. So, I'll take that trade once. And there we go, spotting also the ISU. So now we know exactly where the tank destroyers are. We have complete control over the map right here. And there is basically nobody that can get me out of this corner. And here, ISU 152. I have no idea why he's sitting there for so long after firing. But he does. And now I can completely control the enemy team right now. Forest Witch, the Tiger, they're completely boxed in. The rest of my enemy, uh, the rest of my team is right in front of the enemy team, which means if they turn around to face me, they're just going to get obliterated from the back, which means they can't really turn around and face me, which is now a perfect opportunity to deal a lot of damage. Remember, even in a well-armored heavy tank like this one, it is way better for the enemy to be pointed at your teammates rather than at you. So now, they're going to wait for the reload here, and only three enemies left remaining right here. And that's the thing about this vehicle it's got the high alpha damage it's got the good armor all you gotta do is sit in a spot reload that gun once you're reloaded you peek you put out 450 and then you go back into cover again why would you stay outside exposed when you can just simply go back into cover so don't expose yourself while you're inside the cover that's also something you should avoid especially if you're blitz youtuber i'm sorry i'm not going to stop but here's the thing now, IC-102, he's isolated. I can push him quite easily. Still got all my hit points. So this vehicle is very good. I can definitely recommend it. If you have the time, if you have the interest, absolutely go for it, grind it, because you're not really gonna find another good heavy tank like this for free in probably quite a while. So go for it.